Welcome to the YouTube Symphony Orchestra Trombone Masterclass. I'm Dudley Bright, Principal Trombone of the London Symphony Orchestra. I've chosen to talk about David's Concerto for Trombone, which you've just heard the opening from. This music contains tests in technique, facility, range, rhythm and expressive ability. And all these you need if you're going to perform in Tandan's piece. We have provided one version for you to look at as there are so many different editions of this with different articulations and rhythms. One of the problems of is the exact rhythm of the opening and its repetition. Don't focus on the precise value of the small note, but think of the phrase in itself. <laughs> Think of this phrasing each time that motive comes and use slight expressive variations. Let's go on to the next phrase. It's quite a, a difficult passage to play really lyrically. Remember to keep the breath moving and avoid crossing, uh, closing the throat. Listen carefully and adopt, don't allow unsightly bulges to spoil the sound. You'll alternate fifth position uh, to aid the legato onto the B flat, but don't forget to sharpen it slightly as it's slightly fat, flat in a legit fifth position. It's like this. <laughs> And don't try and play this passage too softly. You're still the soloist. Just contrast with the opening. This piece requires a good slide technique. So, the slide technique often quite covers quite large distances. You need to do that with without disturbing the line of the music. Use alternate positions to avoid constant changes of direction of the slide. Move the slide as fast as possible. Don't grip or jerk, but absorb the energy in relaxed fingers. Now we come on to a beautiful lyrical passage. Keep it simple with subtle colouring of intensity and freely flowing rhythm. Listen carefully to avoid unattractive bulges in the, in the phrase. If you keep the breath steady and avoid movement of the embouchure, it should be possible to play this with very little tongue and, and a nice soft legato. You can also use a little tasteful vibrato on the long notes, but make sure it doesn't change the character of the sound. Let's take a look at the last couple of bars. The slur down from the top B flat isn't easy to make it sound good. Listen critically to avoid bulges and keep the breath steady with a minimum of lip movement. Then in the next bar we have the slur with the staccato underneath it. Try using an articulation with a kind of Ha, 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 ha. And let's put it together.
there's a few issues nearer the ends of the piece. <laughs> Notice how the alternate positions, alternate first positions in the second bar there. Let me show you again slowly and notice how important it is to have subtle tuning uh, alterations. So the fourth position, alternate positions, really help there. Now let's come on to the trills at the end. This creates a problem for some people. And in various editions, there's different rhythms and slight different versions, but I'm just using the simple trill. If you have problems with trills, try, try starting very slowly. Make sure there's no movement of the jaw. Make sure there's no movement of the tongue. Keep the throat open and keep the air flowing, and then gradually speed it up. And when you come to a point where you can't really trill any faster just using the embouchure, just use the ever such slight movement of the jaw, like this. So there we have it, David's concertino for trombone. I'd just like to finish up with playing the last section again. <laughs> you've enjoyed those few thoughts about that music and that you will enjoy making a great performance for the YouTube Symphony Orchestra. Thank you. <laughs>